let's start. Brilliant, here we are. We are week six of the webinars and welcome everybody, which is wonderful. I'm gonna be talking about gratitude and, uh, oops, let's just go. Um, 10 ways to practice more gratitude for a happier life. Now, this is really fascinating because um, I'm, I'm gonna go into what it means to me in a minute, but this is an area that I'm really, really getting into a little bit more. And obviously I wrote about it in my book, uh, Revamp Your Wellness, but I was recently asked to join an interview session I think it's on the 17th of November, so it's coming up with Dr. Joe Vitale. He was one of the writers of The Secret. Do you know the book, The Secret? And um, he was, he was uh, sort of the gratitude specialist that was in there. And I'm currently writing a list of questions to ask Joe uh, around gratitude as well. So part of my research for this, it really, really did help help with that. Um, so yeah, we're going to go into those, which which will which will be really great. So um, how are we going to split this evening? We're going to talk about the 10 ways. Uh, then, as always, I have a task and I have a challenge. This is a really good one and actually scared me for doing this. And if it scares me, then it's always a good thing, right? So I don't know how many people are gonna do this with me, but I think this is something I'd really like to like to do as a task, and we'll get to that at the time. Um, and then we are going to take a look at gratitude journals and, and just to see if that's uh, something that you do. So um, let's take a look. I'm just going to talk a little bit about what gratitude actually means to me and, and just everything that I've kind of got to at this point as well. And I think really being uh, grateful is to be happier, you know, but however, when we experience like a job loss or the loss of a loved one, um, do you know, it's not so easy to see all the good sometimes, but it's in these times though, when practicing gratitude is actually the most beneficial because it helps us heal, it helps us become more hopeful. And that's a really great word to use around gratitude and being grateful also gives us that boost of happiness. And I found some research on this and 25% more happiness when we are grateful. And this is according to a University of California psychology professor, Robert Emos. And I'm positive I've, I've quoted him before because he has a PhD and is a gratitude expert. What a great title. I'm a gratitude expert. You know, I'm a nutrition expert. No, I'm a gratitude expert. I think just think that's fantastic. His research actually found that grateful people experienced higher levels of positive emotions such as joy, enthusiasm, love, happiness, and optimism. I mean, those are really big emotions. Um, and it, it, was, it was from his research, I pulled out certain things, which I'm gonna quote throughout uh, the evening as well. Um, but yeah, I've, I've chosen kind of 10 ways that we can add more gratitude and the reasons why we should be, should be doing that uh, as well. So, you know, this is so simple. Yesterday I was, yesterday I was at a festival. Um, I was at Wellbeing by the Lakes and there was this amazing lady there. I have her business card and her business card. I don't know if you can, whoop, I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah. So, um, the business is called Sunshine Bindery. Sunshine Bindery. <gasps> she had the greatest stationery and cards and everything. Oh my goodness, I just went crazy. So I got this amazing card from my sister. Thank you for being such an amazing sister. So I'm gonna be writing that to her. And then I got, I always buy little cards to send to my kids. I got this one, you are capable of amazing things. 
And then uh, I got this one. I don't know how I'm going to send this to, but it says, just to say that I think you're wonderful. You make me smile every day. You bring me so much joy. You are always there. You give me the best hugs and always make the most amazing tea. Thank you for just being you. How are these for great cards? You know, and just how excited I was to, to buy them. And, and I got four of them. The other one, I've sent one already today to Hannah at Brighton. I couldn't wait. And I just thought, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna write it and just throw it in the post today. And um, the good thing, other good thing is they're 100% plastic free, they're, but they're made by her. So check out Sunshine Bindery. She's got so many things online because writing a letter or a note of thanks is just in incredible um and you know if you can get inspired just to express your gratitude to someone the joy i have actually got buying the cards writing the cards choosing who they're from but already my brain was like wow people are going to enjoy opening these yeah and it's such a thoughtful gesture to acknowledge people for what they bring to your life. And I just thought this was such a simple way and such an easy, inexpensive way. You don't have to buy a card. Do you know what? Make your own. Get inspiration from something else. You know, you can, you can get your little markers out if you wanted to and make your own. It, it, it doesn't matter as long as the process of actually doing it is really there. And it's just so simple. I thought this was beautiful. The next one was recognize that each day as a gift. You know, each day is a new gift to us. Uh, and the only appropriate response to the gift is actually being grateful. And when you think about it that way, it's really interesting and um you know every day we wake up as a blessing because do you know what we're still here and we can have the choices that every day brings us so we need to make the most of those days and enjoy everything that life has in abundance with pleasure and one of the things that i've started ages ago is when i when i wake up I say, wow, great, you know, here I am. What do I need to do today to create this great day? And just kind of lie there as I doze for 15 minutes. <laughs> it's just an excuse to doze for an extra 15 minutes. But it just kind of recognizes that every day I wake up is, is a real gift, a real, real, real gift. And it doesn't have to be written in a journal. It's just there and actually just starts the day amazingly well. Um, I don't know if you know the author Anne of Green Gables, um, you know, it's, it's a famous Canadian uh, series of books. I mean, been made into many different movies over, over the years. But one saying that I always remember, and I, I mean, I read these books probably since I was about eight years old. Um, it's actually in our curriculum in Canada to read. And uh, Anne, Anne of Green Gables, has a saying. And her saying is, every day is fresh and new with no mistakes in it. And do you know what? That's something that really stuck with me through all my years. And I just thought, wow, what a positive way. Because I don't know if you know the story. She was a bit of a fumbler and, uh, you know, life didn't go so well for her. But that's the way she started every single day. <laughs> Even though sort of 10 minutes later, she'd happen make a mistake <laughs> but it didn't matter she started the day recognizing each day was an amazing gift so number three is keeping a gratitude journal um and and i know some of you do keep gratitude journals i'm just going to reach mine here um there we go this is my gratitude journal but in revamp your wellness I have made a gratitude journal to go into the workbooks and the workbook templates is throughout the whole book, but also the workbook template has its own gratitude journal. And just the satisfaction of doing this um, has been really wonderful because 
when we focus on the great things in life and focus on the abundance rather than the lack, then it attracts more of the same. You know, like attracts like. So I know sometimes life is frustrating. We want more sales. We want more clients. You, you know, we, we want more. And, and that's fine. That's, that's a normal human response. But if we focus on, wow, do you know what? I, what I don't have, you get more of what you don't have. So it's focusing on, you know, everything else around the service, around the product. And what you also have to remember is sometimes our output in one area sometimes comes back to us in another area first. And you need to recognize that. And that is our recognition of, okay, keep going. I'm on the right track. I'm almost there with this thing. This hasn't come yet, but actually I'm achieving over here that I never thought that I was going to achieve. So you need to keep going and keep being grateful. And a gratitude journal is brilliant because you can look back. Do you know what? I actually sometimes when I have five minutes, I'm having a coffee and I don't want to flick on the TV because there's like rubbish on it, you know, 2.35 in the afternoon, which is when I have a coffee, right? And if the sun isn't shining and I can't sit in the sun, then I, I just pull this out and I actually flip back to like, okay, day five. Oh, interesting. Day five, I was, I was grateful for my health that day. And, oh, that's interesting. The three people I thanked, wow, that is interesting. <laughs> I thanked a company called Five Secure. I'm like, why the hell did I, I, I haven't even thought of Five Secure since this day. You know, so, uh, and, and it says for the opportunity. So they, they must have given me an opportunity for something. But how great to look back at that and actually think, wow, do you know what? Actually, I do get a lot of opportunities. And if you write them down and grateful for them, guess what? You may get more, you may get more. So definitely keeping this gratitude journal. This, this isn't interestingly one of our tasks, although if you do wanna add it to the task list, um, then you can do it as well. But you know, make your own journal, just use a notebook, whatever, uh, whatever you need, that would be great. I've got a nice little quote here. Um, and I just thought this was really, really relevant. So I believe that there is a subtle magnetism in nature, which if we unconsciously yield to it, will direct us aright. What was fascinating is yesterday at Wellbeing by the Lakes, um, and I wrote this before, before I went, uh, knowing that I was going into nature yesterday, and how you just completely relax and going out into nature, hugging trees. Um, you, you know, uh, both of you get out to nature quite a bit, whether it be swimming in lakes or even just in the back garden. You know, anything is really, really wonderful and being grateful for what we have around us as well. And I just love this beautiful nature scene here, which is why we wanna enjoy the beauty of nature as number four because do you know what i don't know about you but for me i can be consumed sometimes by technology so you, you know i've got ipads i've got ipods i have tvs i have computers you you name it oh my goodness it's all around me all the time so you know putting them aside to notice the beauty of nature just by going for a walk, going for a hike, even a drive is good for the soul. Um, you, you know, and swimming, anything to get us away from the computers. Oceans, trees, flowers, animals can all have this beautiful calming effect on us uh, and help us feel really connected to something bigger than ourselves. And I think that's really important. Um, and, and again, you know, as, as Thuru says here, if we unconsciously yield to the subtle, subtle magnetism in nature, it will put us aright. And, and I truly, truly believe that. So my number five tip is take nothing for granted. Um, 
And I see this so often, so often, you know, so you have to kind of ask yourself who or what may you be taking for granted? Is it, you know, look, we can all easily fall into a regime and neglect what's important uh, around us. For example, health. Yeah, health is one thing a lot of people take for granted. <laughs> it's, I see it all the time. Oh my goodness, I, I shouldn't say this, but I'm not gonna say names. I had this new client. Did I speak to him this week? spoke to him on Monday uh, and I had a one-to-one -one discovery call, top CEO of a hedge fund. He owns the hedge fund, okay? So, I mean, you can imagine what he's like. Um, and he uh, has been sober for 15 years and, and he just said, you know, look, he goes, I'm just an addict. <laughs> Anything that I touch, <laughs> smoking, drinking, uh, you, you know, you name it. And, um, and he goes, over the years, I have taken my health for granted. And he goes, Barbara, I just want you to tell me what to do. And I was like, yes, I'll tell you what to do. And so we've got him on this whole program. And, and even just the moment he committed to the program, he sent an email and says, you know, I just feel better just committing to this. It's now out of my brain. I can compartmentalize it. And I know I'm paying it forward and doing something for the future. And, and I just think, you know, if you can help people like that, then that's, that's really, really great. But, you know, every day is a blessing when you can wake up feeling well, right? And, and that is great. You know, for some people, it's, it's feeling good, feeling energized. For other people, it's just waking up. <laughs> uh, and for some people, maybe they might be in severe pain. So, you know, whatever it is. Um, but then again, some people also never experience this. Yeah, so, oh my goodness, we are going to be blessed by Gareth Tickapad here, I think. There we go, we'll let him in. See if he comes in. Gareth, is that you? You might be. Gareth, hello. I couldn't get you in. Oh, you Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Can I say, conf uh, oh no, it's being recorded. I'll tell you after I finish recording. An amazing job opportunity he's got and what he's working on. Very, very, very exciting. Very exciting. Um, great. So again, taking nothing for granted. So what you really want to do in this section here, if, if you're taking your health for granted, choose what it is. Um, and then that's the first thing. So, you know, similar to losing a loved one or wishing you had told them how you really felt or, um, you know, relationships, all those kinds of things. And um, I went to the book launch yesterday with my editor and it was really interesting because we had such a, a fascinating conversation on the way back. She didn't have the greatest uh, relationship with her mother and, um, you, you know, but she did try to sort that out before. Uh, her mom died about three years ago. And I just thought that was really interesting. You, you know, it's just about setting things right, isn't it? So, and, and, and not taking anything for granted. The next one is one of my favorites, celebrating birthdays and anniversaries. Do you know what? I absolutely adore this. I'm a big birthday celebrator. I love it. Honestly, I love it to acknowledge friends, to acknowledge family and even acquaintances birthdays. I mean, if you're on my Facebook, I don't care if I don't even know you and we're friends on Facebook. I am wishing you happy birthday if it comes up, you know, because it's the best way to express gratitude. It really is. And, you, you know, for other people, it can be a simple phone call, a card, an email, you know, whatever makes that person feel really appreciated and special. You, you know, life circumstances, as we know, can just be so unpleasant at times. But to celebrate another person's special day is just something joyous that we have within our control. And I love doing everything that I can control to make people's lives great. Because do you know what? There is so much out of our control. It is unbelievable. So if we can do something really great that is within our control, I think we should do it. And it, it just makes us feel absolutely fantastic. And 
you know, the next one is a really big one that I love doing uh, as well. And that's complimenting others daily. And, and I, <laughs> I actually, I will actually actively, if I'm like in a supermarket or something, you, you know, um, do something. We, we went out for lunch the other day and uh, we were just down at the beach. And you know what? It was so hot down there. And um, do you know what? A lot of people were being quite cranky with the waitress. And she came over and she was just like, you could tell she was exhausted. She was in the sun. You know, people are like, oh, hurry up. You, you know, give me my food, blah, 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 blah. And I just is like, okay, great. I love your nails. They're really nice, you know? And it's like, what a super place to work, you know, just looking at all this view and, and, you know, just brought it right down and you could see her relax. And I gave her a fiver for a tip at the end of the day. And she goes, wow. She goes, I wish all my customers were like you. I wish all the, and I was just like, do you know, I felt good after that. Um, so, you know, complimenting others, it's just so simple it's but it's got to be genuine a genuine compliment that can make another pe person feel really great um you, you know it can be co-workers it can be the waitress you, you know look we all have good qualities just find them and and say something you know and i think that's really great and telling people even how their good qualities make a difference to other people's lives is is really really special and i feel if you can give somebody a a sincere compliment a day i i kind of shoot for three i shoot for three compliments a day um to anyone who i come across and just see how the goodness spreads right pass it on you just just never know, you know, sometimes you can just make someone smile. And, um, you, you know, if I see a nice dress, it's like, wow, I love your dress. Where did you get that from? You, you know, I'm probably never going to go online and buy it, but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is you can just kind of pay it forward. And um, yeah, it's just really good. And I've got a great little quote around this here. When you realize that there's nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you, Lao Tzu. And didn't he write um, The Art of War? I'm pretty sure he wrote the book, The Art of War, which is a fascinating book. I, I read it on holiday once years ago when we were in Tenerife um, and, and, and I took it with me. And, and there's a, a lot of analogies between everything that he says around the art of warfare <laughs> obviously he's a it was a, a warrior chinese warrior um to modern day business and it was really quite interesting someone had taken a lot of his teachings and 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 sort of revamped them so yeah the, you know there's a lot of really great stuff but actually do you know what we have to realize there's nothing lacking and that is a fascinating bit of gratitude in itself Okay, which I'm going to talk about this a little bit more. Remember, there is nothing lacking because do you know what? Our minds tend to lean towards what we are lacking in life instead of all the abundance that exists around us. So, you know, we may not see it because we're maybe we're not looking for it. And, you know, to become sort of more conscious of all that we do have in life can mean the difference between feeling miserable and feeling content. So I think sometimes it's just normal. I think it's a human makeup that we tend to look for what we don't have. And if we can flick that over again, I think you're kind of getting the essence of everything that, that we have in abundance. In abundance for sure okay the next one is is raise a happier child a happier family or you know happier team because you know being grateful and expressing this gratefulness will actually make them happier as well and you can teach your family your team um, your children 
to do the same thing back at you. You, you know, it's, it's really a, a amazing. Um, and it, I think it was one of the first times both my kids sent me messages yesterday and said, mommy, we're so proud of you. And I was like, wow, that's really, that's really great. But then I think, God, how many times do I say that about them? And even when I was chatting with Hannah on the phone today, she goes, you know, I'm really proud of you. It's really, really great. And I thought, wow, do you know what? They've learned that, you, you know, it is about it cascading those thoughts through the family. And I think that's, that's really wonderful. You know, I've always taught the kids, um, oh my goodness, I got this great story. I hope my brother never, never watches this recording of this video. So my mom and dad always, not always, often complain about my brother's kids because they never send thank you cards for when my parents send them money. And um, my mom said after this Christmas when she didn't get thank you cards, because I'm just not buying, I'm just not giving those two kids any more money. <laughs> getting on the phone to <laughs> chatting to the girls always oh, send grandma and granddad a thank you card because they're not going to send thank you uh money anymore or presents to to the other two i just thought that was hilarious but you know what people love being appreciated and just a simple thank you whether it be a text a call a card is what we might find normal is actually lacking these days and that sort of common decency i just don't feel is part of it so you know teach them to send thank you notes for gifts received to to express thanks in in any way and sharing thanks around the dinner table or you, you know make that gratitude muscle within the team and that's something we i really always did yeah i thanked my staff every single day so the chefs used to leave at three they started at seven in the morning and they left at three and they would always knock on my door because at three o'clock i never used to take anyone because i uh, well, so first of all when i got in first thing in the morning between 8 30 and nine o'clock my first job was to make everybody every single staff member their first drink cup of tea coffee whatever i'd make it, it used to take me about half an hour but didn't matter i would make it the end of the day on their shifts, three o'clock chefs, I would thank every single one of them when they left, when they left. And I, to me, it was just so important because I knew as a team of 45, um, if we weren't strong, there is no way, you know, and, and, and they work, they work hard. Sometimes they used to work through their breaks. I mean, if we were busy, they just, they just did it because they knew I appreciated, appreciated it. And they, they, they knew, you know, sometimes I used to say, look, oh my God, leave the washing up. You, you know, I will finish it off. You guys go, um, you, you know, and they appreciate that kind of stuff because they would do it for me. Yeah. And, and that was, that is a teamwork. So making sure that that is instilled in everybody, um, makes everyone happier. It, it really is absolutely incredible. So number 10 is recognizing how good things really, really are. And, uh, you know, look, we all have our daily frustrations. Everybody, it, it's, it's normal, right? And, you know, maybe you're unhappy with your job. Maybe you're unhappy and you want to change unfilling unfulfilling relationships whatever you know these are things within our personal control to change so we can start moving those forward um but so many things happen outside of our, our control like i've said before I'm not, I'm not taking anything for granted you know accidents job loss health issues you know when life is going well delight in the gift of life and that really is recognizing how good things really are. Um, you, you know, there's a, a, a famous quote by Marianne Williamson. I don't know if you know her as an author. And she says, joy is what, is what happens to us when we allow ourselves to recognize how good things really are. And I just think that is absolutely beautiful, beautiful, because 
um, what I, I know this lady, uh, her name is Vanda North, and she actually created Mind Chi. Don't know if you've ever heard of Mind Chi. And that is around uh, mapping. So, you know, when you like brain dump and you map things out, you've got like little circles and lines and circles and lines and blah, 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 blah. She created a system called Mind Chi that maps in a certain way. Um, and she, she actually just lives up the street from me. And she was always so joyous and a little bit off the wall. So, you know, we, we met at a supermarket. Yeah. How cool is that? This guy, she was like the friendliest person in the supermarket. And of course, I'm going to go up and talk to anybody. And we did. We just chatted. She was awesome. Um, and we became friends and she gave me a couple of her books. Uh, she's in her 70s now. She was at the like she spearheaded mind mapping you know, way back when, when nobody even heard of it. Uh, you can find her on LinkedIn. She is joyous, but her whole thing is around joy and how the difference between being happy and being joyful is the way she explains it very different. And joy just is like this emotion that is overflowing. You can never take being joyous away, even if there is a disaster. You're still a joyous person inside. You might not be happy at that time, but you are still joyous. Does that make sense? And I always think that is the essence of being grateful is to reach that emotion of joy, not happiness joyousness um and i always found that really great really 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 great okay big thing now <laughs> are you ready this is our task and the task is to vow not to complain for 21 days now can you understand how this pulled me out of my comfort zone i i complain every day it might be a little thing yeah i mean I, i'll complain uh, i <laughs> I'm not going to tell you things I can play about, <laughs> but you're laughing already. You know it. And it's simple stuff. It's everyday stuff that accumulates, doesn't it? And takes, sucks that joy out of our life, right? And one, one thing that drives me absolutely crazy is, you know, we've just paid 20,000 pounds to revamp our, our bathroom. Okay. I mean, I have the most beautiful marble floor all the way up to the ceiling. I mean, it's gorgeous, right? And, and I tell you what, I can't stand it when there's like friggin' toothpaste all over or, you know, dribbles of wee or whatever. Okay. Whatever. Uh, it drives me crazy. And I know it does to you because I know I can see you both laughing and it is so true. So I am going to vow to you guys, I am not going to complain about anything in the bathroom. I'm going to be specific because I might not be able to compl stop complaining about other things. Okay. I'm not going to complain for 21 days about mess in the bathroom. All right. Because it's sucking the joy of this beautiful bathroom that I have. So I am just going to be grateful about it. So I, I kind of need you guys to check in with me. And actually, now that I've committed it, I'm going to write it down because I, I'm going to write my commitment down. Okay. Um, so my commitment is up for complaining is around the bathroom. And if you want to play along with me, I mean, I, I'm lucky because I got seven days away from the bathroom anyway. So there's seven of the days done while I'm in Ireland. So that's great. Um, if you want to play along, choose a specific thing because, yeah, you know what? Sometimes complaining feels good because it gets our, gets our negative feelings out, right? And, and you need to recognize that as well. But we need to do it in a way that is constructive and doesn't feel like complaining. Um, because it can become a bit of a habit and then it can be toxic and that's what brings us down. All right. 
So there's got to be different ways that we can do it. But let's just see how long you can do it. But again, you need to be specific. So is it about your job? Is it about a family member? Is it about we on the floor? Is it about, you, you know, whatever it is, okay? Finances, traffic, weather. I don't care what it, what it actually is, but choose one thing. And if we can be complain free around that one thing for 21 days, it'll be really interesting to see what happens. Okay, to see what happens and see if we can't get some inspiring and transformational stories uh, around that. Because, um, yeah, that'd be good. You are, are you guys up for it? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to put mine in the group and see if, if we can, if we can do that. And then I'm going to put it in the diary each week. We're going to see if we've broken our, our complaining. Um, but as I said, I'm cheating because I've got seven days away from seeing the bathroom anyway. <laughs> better come back and there better not be any wee on the floor. But anyway, <laughs> we'll go from there. Right. That's it this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you um it's been really great catching up with with everyone so uh i will post a replay of this into the group i'm also gonna i'm also gonna put the task in the group as well see if we can't uh, get anyone else to join us in the task but if not it's just us and we're gonna have a a joyous life being super grateful i'm really grateful you got you ladies could join me this evening so thank you very much for that super grateful for that and uh, i'll see everyone soon take care bye, bye. Thank bye. You. thank bye. you bye, bye.